Hello, welcome to Working Horses with Jim. Here comes Jim with Ken and Duke. He's planning on finishing up his project up the road with um, manure spreading this afternoon. I do my thing. I yeah. go grab my heavy coat. Been a little hiked up today. So hopefully that project will be finished this afternoon. I do believe there might be more loads than Jim thought. Skip's been out terrorizing the, the cattle. Come on, Skip. Okay, Skip, you got him cornered. Come on, Skip. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Skip. Come. Come. Good boy. Good job. Good job. So I'm out here in front of my greenhouse, and um, Jim has warned me that I might want to get out here and get my perennials moved out of this area because he is thinking that he and William might start working on the raised area that he spoke of um, before that we might have um, a little extension to the greenhouse here and when and when Jim decides he's ready to do something you better hurry up and get done because with what your part is because he'll be coming right along so this afternoon um, I think I'm going to be moving all the the perennials from this area which there aren't a lot because I already moved a bunch um, but the exciting thing is I think at some future date I'm going to move the extra perennials that I have down by the pond and transplant them down there and kind of try to naturalize them because I don't have time to go down there and, and work on um, gardening down there but just to plant them in around the pond so at some future date we'll be doing that but right now I'm just going to get this ready so that if he wants to come in here and make his raised the raised bed I'm done with my part so you can join me with with this adventure I got some help here.
he's just going to be a super help this summer, I can tell. Not, well, in the right place, but I'm going to be half you have to be careful where I'm digging or he, <laughs> he's just such a nut. <laughs> you crack me up. Okay, I'll show you what I got here. Some of them I'm not exactly sure what they are. Like this right here, I think it's um, more um, flocks. I got flocks, just crazy. They need to be split up. Sedum, Autumn Joy Sedum, love it. Chives, I'd like to make a um, herb garden. Anyways, some more flocks. And I guess that's about what we got in this this section. I've also got, my, my mother-in-law gave me these years ago. I'm pretty sure she called them Bells of Scotland. And I love them. They're early um, spring bloomers. Just love them. Okay, here's the new motor. It just arrived last night. Thanks to our friend Leo, he picked it up for us. Brand new in the box and the man who's gonna put it in is just arriving to get it going. Well, good morning, everybody. Today, I have Earl and Baron. Earl's on the left, Baron's on the right. And we're out here trying to get this job done. We thought might, we might have got done 
couple of days ago. But a couple of days ago, we had a breakdown on the manure spreader. We broke one of the cross pieces. These are the cross pieces right here. We broke one of them. <clears throat> and then I knew, and also we, we lost a bunch of these links in the field because these are the type of links that come off really easy. When they're tight, they work great. When you need to change links, they work great. But if, the, if, if it's disconnected, it'll fall right apart. So anyways, we lost a bunch of them up in the field. I went up in the field and was able to find a bunch of them, but still not enough of them. I knew because this is a, a, a spreader that's made in Pennsylvania, I'd probably have a difficult time finding the crossbars um, that day. And I figured I'd probably have to order them and I, I still think I will and I could not find any. But I was able to get some of the links, these individual links. So I put the chain back together, and now, as you can see, we have long stretches without any crossbars. And this is a problem as far as spreading, because it takes, it unloads slower because of it. Um, because I am dealing with a lot of long hay that's in my manure, it's just as well because I can put this lever all the way to the bottom, which goes as fast as it can go. But because of the lack of crossbars, it's actually going slower and putting the manure through the beaters slower. So um, it's working fine. And as you can see also, because we were feeding round bales out here, it's difficult, you guys that use round bales, you'll understand this, it's difficult to get all of the string off the bales. I mean, we try really hard to do that, but it's very difficult at times. So we have a whole bunch of string wrapped around our, our beaters, and it's filling up with manure. And as soon as I get this job done, I'm gonna to have to clean it all out really good, but I'm not gonna bother doing it until we're all done. So it's a rather chilly morning this morning. I think it's like 34 degrees. And like I said, I thought we'd be done with this job by now, but we're not. Hopefully we can get it done today. Yesterday, um, I was held up quite a bit because of the motor on my sawmill. I was helping the guy put that in and uh, we had some problems there. So I'm gonna go show you that even now and tell you what's going on with that. So I want to give you guys a little update on our sawmill motor. We got the brand new motor in place and we thought we might have been ready to go and we went to start it up and we have power to the motor but it will not spin over. The starter is not engaging and for some reason this was went to the old sawmill but that connector is not here for this one. There is this type of connector here. We're not even sure if that's what should be connected to there. And of course they're not the same plugs. So we don't know what's going on. So I've got to call up Wood Miser next week to find out what we need to do. So anyways, that's the update on that. Now let's get back to spreading some more manure. So we're back with, with the two suffix and uh, because Earl doesn't have that much experience, we will be taking fairly light loads. Um, I am curious because this is a 100 bushel spreader. And do any of you guys know, or gals, with a 100 bushel spreader, is that considered level or heaping to get 100 bushels on? I am curious if anyone might know that because I am gaining on Here's my tally, and we've already taken one load this morning. And I'm gonna mark that load, and then one more for right now. So we're up to 10, 20, 35. This will be the 39th load. So I am wrong on my estimation of 40 loads, but I still hope to get this job done today. I want to work these two this morning and then in the afternoon I hope to put 10 
back with Duke and spread some more with them. A couple people have commented on our harnesses and they were thinking that we have our new harnesses for, for Duke and Earl that we I showed you in a few videos ago. We have not picked them up yet. They're basically all done. I'm just waiting on the new lines. But maybe even next week I get them home and we can get started to fit them to the Colts and see how that goes in the bedroom film that. One other thing I just wanted to comment on. We had a, a comment uh, from our last video and uh, they were telling us um, how judgmental we were and of course uh, after we got that comment um, we did write back to that person and say and apologize um, but you know when, when you're making YouTube videos it's funny because uh, everything we do is judged very much also you know the words we say the way we work the way we do our our farming and all this and uh, yeah sometimes we're judged very harshly because of that but we just have to deal with that just like so many people when they're when people when they feel people have are judging them wrongly they just have to um, you know think about it and 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 if they if the people are right about their judgment well we should try to change um, but we shouldn't be offended in such a way that we get mad about it and, and just walk away and, and don't even talk to that person again. Um, it's just not the right way to do it. Also, this person commented that Brenda being a Christian, that that should somehow make her perfect, apparently. Um, you know, just because we're Christians does not mean we're perfect in any, you know, shape or form. Um, we we fail like, like everybody else. Um, so, but anyways, just uh, wanted to bring that up and, and just, I guess just tell people that judging people and being judged happens all the time. And the Bible does talk about judging, but also says we shouldn't judge, but also says we do have to, we do judge. And it's just the way it is in life and yeah, I'm sure they're not going to preach a sermon on judging, nor anything else for that matter. But uh, um, I guess just accept the fact that for, for myself, we're being judged every time we put a video out. And whether we do it right or wrong in your eyes, um, that's for you to decide and not us. Uh, we just have to try to do the best, we do, best that we can to do it in such a way that we're not judging other people. But, you know, one person's... Um, idea of being judged in another person are two different things so anyways i'm gonna get this um loaded up and hopefully we can get this done today good evening everyone i decided to run up to the check out the cows and show brenda my clean lack of manure here wow. get that. she said skip me the walk so, of course, if we let Skip go, he'd chase the cows. So, I want to show you what we got here. So, I got all the manure out of here. I say all the manure. It's, it's not perfectly clean, but if I go too deep, I end up putting stones that ends up in the spreader, and that's not good. But anyways, here's our numbers. 47 loads. So I'm pleased with that. That's a lot of loads for you and the horses. So anyways, that's going to be our video for tonight. You guys have a great day. We'll see you next time.